I'm going to be talking about waste. Waste is a problem in Cape Town, especially in informal areas. If you drive past any informal settlement, any informal community, uh, disadvantaged community, you'll notice there's piles of waste lying everywhere. Drive past Kailitra, drive past Imizamiyotu, you'll notice bags on the ground, um, tins, rubbish everywhere. So how do we address that? What, uh, what steps can we take to um, address this issue? Well, what we've done is we've noted that over 70% of all household waste is recyclable, right? So if we can remove that uh, waste from the, the waste stream, then we can deal with at least 70% of the problem. But before I, de I delve into our solution, I'm going to give you a bit of a history of where I've come from and how I arrived at our present situation. In 2006-2007, I was very fortunate to do an exchange in uh, California. I was at the University of California, Santa Cruz. And it was a great experience. If any of you have opportunity, you should go. I experienced everything there was to, about America. Uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, 10-lane highways in LA, burritos, American football, baseball. And I stumbled upon something which was new to me called recycling. It was, uh, it was a bit of effort at first to get used to it, but once I got used to it, which was about a week, I never thought about it again. Until I came back to South Africa and I noticed that there wasn't recycling yet. So, I uh, came to UCT and I investigated why there wasn't recycling. I met up with some other enthusiastic individuals and after a few debates and meetings, we had the Green Campus Initiative. So, you know, if you go around campus, you see recycling bins all over Upper Campus. And at the time, there was a little bit of work done for Upper Campus, but nothing for residences. I partnered with this man, Nick, who's over there, uh, Nick Veed, um, and we started the residence committee. And we actually launched a pilot project in this very residence and Fuller across the way. Um, if you go outside, you can still see some remnants. We actually talked in this hall three years ago, four years ago. and. We got very excited, we, we labeled the bins, we grouped the bins, we briefed the staff, we put up posters, we briefed the students, we got everything in order, but no one recycled, and it was a complete disaster. But we learned some lessons, um, and after a year, there was recycling throughout residences. We wanted to uh, engage the broader community. We weren't satisfied just sitting here in the ivory tower that is UCT, we wanted to be out there on the ground, and we wanted to address this issue. This photo is actually from Imizami Yesu in Hart Bay. So, Trash Pack was born. Um, here you can see some recycling, and here's our team. Um, so, Trash Pack is a community-based, incentivized recycling initiative. Community-based because um, members of the community, uh, where we've launched the project in Imizami Yesu in Hart Bay, they collect recyclables and they bring them to our center, our depot and the depot is run by community members as well. Incentivized recycling initiative, most of these community members are living, um, they're living from hand to mouth, they don't have a lot of disposable income or disposable time, and they don't want to work if they're not getting rewarded for it. So we made use of the fact that recycling has value, and we've created a platform for that value, for, for the community members to access that value. Um, and what we've done is we're rewarding their positive actions. And a positive action is any action of a community member that has a positive effect on themselves, their environment, and the greater community. And we believe that recycling is one of these actions. So how does it work? We have a top collector model. Recy um, participants bring in recyclables to our center. We allocate their points. At the end of every week, which is our collection period, um, participants are awarded, um, sorry, the top collectors are then awarded prizes or rewards. These are the rewards that we uh, have been sponsored at the moment. Uh, their points are reset to zero. The non top collectors, their points are then carried over to the next collection period, so they kind of have a head start compared to the top collectors. Um, and how's it doing so far? Well, we, we've only been running for two weeks. Um, in that two week period, we've collected 1,736 kilograms of recyclables, given us 72 rewards. Uh, we've got 248 registered participants, um, and we've been in operation for two weeks.
Check out the latest Super Challenge now at supernews.coza.